We have made our way to the only ranch you will see here at the home Arama. John, I must tell you, this home is absolutely stunning. And I think the name of the company says it all, Prestige Homes. I mean, you walk in here and you feel like you're in a fantasy world almost. Well, thank you very much. Thank now, you. your house that you have built here, what do you think when people walk in, what do you want them to feel? At home. Well, I'm feeling home. I want them to feel like we could just move right in. And that's our goal with every house. So, you know, when we look at the design, it's a ranch. It's got a finished lower level, so we call that the new second floor. And I want people to walk in, feel at home, and feel like this has all the rooms they need and none that they don't. I want it to feel when it's done that every piece of furniture, they can walk in, sit down, be comfortable in that room. And when it comes to the materials you've used to build mm -hmm. this home, yes. I think they're, it's, it's top notch, top well, of the line. Well, thank you for noticing. When you were coming up with the idea for this, what did you know that you wanted to have? I guess if I had to sum it up, we wanted a um, sophisticated European cottage look. We wanted to uh, have a really nice quality and color of cabinetry and kitchen appointments. We wanted to uh, be a little bit more formal and uh, tailored in our painted trim and the trim that we use, but then we wanted to throw in the stone and the hand-hewn beams and the different accents that we put in. We thought the combination with the wall colors being subtle and soft and warm, we thought the combination would be very, very welcoming. And you mentioned the lower level. Yes. What, to, what do we have there on the lower level? Well, on the lower level right now, we've got a bar and wine area, we have the media area, we have an exercise room, a very nice exercise room, and we have an extra bedroom. And we designed the house that, you know, we had been using the term for years, all the rooms you need and none that you don't. And I think this brings to the forefront all the floors you need and none that you don't. When you do that lower level as your second floor, it, it gives you a lifestyle down there and it gives you a flexible lifestyle. It gives you a lifestyle that you can grow with. So that exercise room can be an exercise room today it could be a kids or grandchildren playroom. Uh, the lower level could be an in-law, it could be grandchildren, it could be a child coming back from college. We, we wanted a very flexible lifestyle there. And when you, when you developed this home in your head, you, you didn't want flashy, you didn't want big flashy things. And there was a reason behind that. Well, we wanted it to be more of a, we wanted the quality to show through. We wanted an understated elegance um, we didn't want it to be glitzy, we wanted it to be something that everybody could relate to and everybody can relate to quality, everybody can relate to attention to detail. And you spared nothing when you created this outdoor space as well. Well, the outside living is everything. I mean, what we did here was we created an environment out here, an outside living environment. We have the covered porch for the days where you may want to get out of a soft rain, but you might want to get out of the sunlight a little bit. We've got the evenings where we want a fireplace. We have the grill, the refrigerator, but we also established a walk-up basement on a lot that normally wouldn't have it. So, you know, when you look in the background as to our stairway coming up, leading to a patio, leading to another patio, We've just multi-tiered this and made this a very flexible space too. I could just say to you, I'd get up, have my coffee, and look out here at this view every day, and I'd be one happy girl. It's a beautiful home. Great. Well, we can't wait till you move in. I'm in, <laughs> if I can afford it. <laughs>